Hey y'all, welcome to Saturday Sublimation, week nine. I'm Heather. I want to talk about sublimation. I want to learn about sublimation. And I want to do it every Saturday with you. This is not sponsored. I want to tell you about sublimating on cotton. I put my logo on this shirt a few months ago. I wear it really often. I have Sublimation HTV for dark fabrics. I get this on Amazon. I love the sheets. The Sublimation HTV for lights. I have it in a roll and it works really well. Today, because I'll be sublimating on cotton, I need the HTV. We're going to print from the sublimation printer and we're going to press my logo from the sublimation ink onto the HTV. The HTV will be on the shirt so you'll feel it, you'll see it, but it'll also hold your image. It won't be like those transfers you can get from the store. Again, the lights for white t-shirts and I could use this on the gray, but then the gray would show through. I want the white background, so I'll use Sublimation HTV for dark fabric. I use the Epson Echo Tank 2400 for everyday printing and for sublimation. They are the most affordable in the series and I really love them. Again, none of this is sponsored. Saturday Sublimation is all about spending time together. I made my logo in Canva. You can do so much in here. I was Canva free version for two years and then I went to the pro and I really enjoy it. I have this downloaded to my computer. We will bring it into the design space. Give it a background. If you want it real clean and crisp, you can go for a perfect circle, a square, a rectangle, something a little more structured and clean. I like this ripped effect. Right, the pink is going to be the sublimation HTV. The logo will be the print. We remembered to mirror. I am using the setting copy paper, 32 pounds, with more pressure. Just hit cut again. The 
white sublimation HTV looks just like regular white HTV. I asked my husband for the bright pad for Christmas. Do you have a light pad or a bright pad? Do you like it? If you don't have a trimmer, get one. I think they make me a happier crafter. Our scraps will go back in here because I don't want to get them confused. This is what the clear looks like for lights. That greenish tint, it's actually the carrier sheet, not the HTV. I got this cotton t-shirt, Walmart, $3 on clearance. Always weeds so nicely. When you're taking paper off the mat, flip it over and peel the mat away from the paper. We will press our HTV, peel the carrier sheet, press our logo, peel the paper, and then it's there. For the HTV, I am warming the Easy Press up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a pad to press, protect our surface, protect the back side of our cotton. <music> Protect your press, protect your cotton. The first one is only going to take 10 seconds. We are a cold peel for the white. That lets our heat press warm up. So we had 300 degrees, 10 seconds for the HTV. Let it cool, it said cold peel. 345 degrees Fahrenheit. You can tape it, or you can reuse that paper. Now this one is a firm pressure. Give it all you got. If you can't get polyester shirts, you don't like Cricut shirts, this is a great alternative. I hope you enjoyed this week. I hope you'll come back next week. I hope you like this video. I hope you're subscribed with notifications on. Have the best day, night, weekend. Whenever you see this, I hope it's beautiful.